You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! In the crib. Oh, no, no, no doubt, no doubt. What's up, man? Uh, have I, I never met you before? I believe we met brief. Was you at uh, Volume? The last one? And the Civil War joint? Yeah. I, I, the Civil War is when I was supposed to interview you. And for some reason, it didn't happen. I, I don't know what it was. Yeah. Well, Beasley, that... Beas, Beasley had paid me $100 to interview you. Dope. Yeah, yeah. He, um, he had brought me out uh, for the weekend just to kind of like, you know, uh you know see the you know see everything because you know, i wasn't battling on the car but he just wanted me to come out and, you know just kind of shake some hands meet some people that type of thing it was real dope so um yeah but i think we did meet i just uh i think it might have been at a uh, civil war we kind of yeah, like, civil, civil yeah. war yeah yes. i was joking Beasley didn't pay me a hundred dollars an interview you know so. <laughs> i was so like i don't know yeah but um he did um he was definitely taking care taking care of me and stuff so i wouldn't have been so i wouldn't have been shocked yeah uh just for you saying that you know he wanted you to come out you know to to, to, to be out there is says a lot you know what mm-hmm. i mean like so um when he said that and beasley never p is usually the one that tells me yo interview the new guy or interview that guy or interview this guy beasley never really does that so i said it must be something there yeah i mean yeah i like you know I'm, I'm new to the whole to the whole joint so i didn't really know i don't really know much i just met Beasley not too long ago but yeah he seemed pretty dope like uh at civil war he definitely uh um grabbed up um somebody um and was like hey man interview the new guy you know and i got a little interview just because Beasley wanted me to have one type thing so yeah like, he definitely does a good job of you know taking care of us um i feel like at least from my experience, I don't know about anybody else. Right, nah, no doubt. And um, I, I, I looked at a couple of your battles. You, you're actually good, man. <laughs> I hope so, man. I hope so. Yeah, um, I do a little bit. And and I actually, after watching some of your joints, I actually like you versus JC now. I know a lot of people are like, yeah, why is JC taking clucks? You know, he just went from went in the tournament and surf and all this shit. And now he goes to clutch. Um, but JC's always been like that. JC ain't never ducked any battle, whether it's a newcomer or a legend, it, it didn't matter. So, um, but like I say, after I watched some of your battles, I was like, okay, little motherfucker pen is good. H- how old are you? Uh, I'm 25. 25. You, you seem a lot younger than that. <laughs> and, and then some of the battles I've seen was kind of old too, because I see you've been around since like 17, I think, 2017. Yeah, I, um, kind of sort of like, yeah, I definitely I started in 17. I was real active for a couple of years. I had some, you know, some um, personal shit go on that kind of stopped me. So I um I quit battling for I mean, from about 2020 till now, I probably got like five battles total. I'm, I kind of just put it down for a little bit in like 2019. So that's why I kind that's why I'm just now getting really started on my, you know, quote unquote rookie run is because I really, um, I really put it down for a few years. No crucible. Nah, uh, my first, that was my first crucible. Th- this year was my first crucible, the, uh, the, the past year. How many uh battles did you do on the crucible? Uh I did the original, I did phase one, which was just you know the little 90 second tryouts. Mm-hmm. Then I battled alias in phase two, and then I had Hansel in phase three, and then I tech I technically I guess Loso wasn't really a crucible, that was just like the final exams. Right, so right, that right. That was my little crucible run. Which is crazy though yeah a, a lot of people have been through a whole lot more than that um that's on the same card that you're on right now right yeah yeah so i i don't know what it is if you uh you got beasley's family in the basement tied up you know <laughs> or what but um like i say i can't confirm nor deny <laughs> the um but as far as um Bar wise, pen wise, incredible. Your cadence, everything is 
you 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 can do this very well, bro. So yeah, after because again, you know, when you when I watch a lot of up and coming guys, you can find little things and say, Yeah, he needs to work on that, he needs to work on this. So far, man, you you looking pretty good, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it. I, I know um a big thing for me right now moving forward, other than just gaining more experience, is presence. I really think that uh if I can develop a legitimate presence to where you know, I can have a certain feel when I rap that can, that can resonate with the crowd. That'll really make me unstoppable. I do think that is one area where I could definitely improve a lot is my presence. And uh, that's that area. But, yeah, for sure. I appreciate it. Yeah, as far as the rapping shit goes, you got it, man. You you can do that very well. You know, but again, star factor is always the the, the issue that a lot of people that are very good rappers and pen wise that's always the the uphill battle for right. a lot of people right 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 just telling yourself that um I, that's a big thing i've been working on is you know just kind of like fleshing out my personality all throughout my material because i know my personality is one that can be marketed it marketed it's just about whether or not i flesh it out properly or mm -hmm. if i try to keep certain things hidden and shit like that i kind of gotta be extremely comfortable with myself first yeah, um, you can't, with my sister, you can't rank how I structure my bodies on a scale of 10. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. You can't That's crazy. Bodies on a scale of 10, yeah. Yeah, you wrote that. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I forgot who it was you battled, but... That, I mean, it was a lot of other stuff that stuck out to me, but that that line was like, no, 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 that's that's different. I fuck with that. So I appreciate it. Yeah, that was, um, I, I remember that that was um one of my better battles um, leading up to me deciding to do the Crucible. Okay, good shit. Now, uh, you know, this is JC, man. You know, all these compliments I'm giving you, you know, it's all good, it's all well and good, but this is still one of the most incredible motherfuckers in battle rap. Uh, that never ceases to amaze me. Um, how does that feel knowing you're about to go up against that guy? The guy that Lux is afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I think I'm too much of like a Lux guy to even say he's afraid. But like, nah, for real, um, it, it, it's really an honor. I think, um, you know, there's, there's, no, there's no doubt. You can watch some of my older battles and see the, the JC influence. I'll never act like, JC wasn't one of those guys that, you know, influenced me in my style. And it's an honor to be, you know, standing across from him um in a, in a week or two. But, like, um, it, I don't know if it's truly – I don't know if it's truly stuck yet, you know. I um I haven't – I don't really battle – when when I was coming up, I wanted to get everything out the mud. I didn't want – people was willing to, like, pay names to battle me and stuff like that. I didn't want to do it. I wanted to come up, you know, gradually. So, like, Loso was the first name I ever battled. So same thing, like JC will be the biggest name I've ever battled by far. And so it doesn't really stick. And it probably won't until I see him that day. Mm. I still got my homeboys would just like randomly tell me like, bro, you really battling JC? Like we used to watch dude. And it's like, yeah, like for real. It did make it easier to write for him though. I will say that. It made it easy to write for him. Made it easier to write for him. But um, because as a battle rapper myself and seeing a guy like JC, I've always thought about like, man, what I would say to him. Like, yeah, you know, I, I, I would say this to him, or I would say that to him. And so, you know, always kind of in the. I'm a competitor and I'm a student of the game, so I'm always in the back of my mind, like, oh, JC is one of my favorite battlers, but he does have this hole, he does have that hole, he does have that hole. So now that I can actually apply the things that I just registered as a fan of, of the sport. Now I can actually apply him as a competitor. It makes it easier to write for him, the fact that I've been watching him for a decade. I would think it makes it harder to write for JC because JC's battled 633 million times. <laughs> and, right. you know, so many people have said so many things to him. It's like, you know, how do you actually find things to say that hasn't already been said? That's the crazy part. Yeah, it's it's I think what it is, is that like I, I just don't think like a lot of people 
Mm-hmm. And so my initial thought when I'm thinking about, you know, writing for somebody, I, I don't even, I used to, I used to not even watch my opponent's old battles. Like when I was prepping for like Hansel, I didn't watch a whole bunch of old Hansel battles. I didn't watch, he don't have many, but I didn't watch them. I knew that I wasn't going to say nothing that these other motherfuckers said because, and if I did, I would do it far more potent. It's just, I take so much time with my writing and I, and I, and I perfect every little bitty detail. That's the last thing I'll ever have to worry about to me is wrapping something that somebody else wrapped that way. I can, you know, I find, I pick my spots. Well, if I talk about something that someone else has talked about, I make sure that I pick my spots and I'll do it in my own way. Even if someone did say something that I or talk about something that I'm talking about, they didn't talk about it like I did. I always, I always say that's difficult because I know you saying, you know, like you, you, you're a Martian and nobody thinks like you, but that's not true. You know, there's there's been so many times where as though the similarities of, you know, something said, you know, somebody else said it similar. And then I always get the same answer from battle rappers. Yeah, but I said it better. You know, if if I do say something somebody said, my shit going to sound better. That's it, difficult. It's, and it's not even that our mind always sounds better. It's I, I just think that mine always sounds like me. And so, you know, whether it's better or worse or whatever, I always try to, because not everybody is, you know, moves like I do not, especially in this culture where everybody is just like this super street gangster shoot them up, dude. Not a lot of people are going to dissect and rap the way the nerd is going to rap, the way the mm-hmm. guy with the glasses that's, you know, super, you know, that I, you know, I use my intelligence as a, like, full-fledged as a, a piece of my arsenal. Mm-hmm. And so... I feel like even if they do attack a certain angle or do a, a do a certain something, it's not good. Even if it's better to some people, I don't think it's going to be the same as how I do it. And that's why I kind of pl- and plus with me being a student, I've seen I I'm, can comfortably say I've probably seen every URL JC battle in the last two months. Probably watched every single one of them. Damn. And so I know how to not. Like, I know what I can say and what I can't say. Very good. That's good, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I find time to, like, break my opponents down. Yeah, if you, if you battle murder Mook, it's different. Mook don't have 600,000 battles like JC does. So right. research is different. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So I'll end up just watching the same ones over and over and over. But, yeah, like, I, man, I caught myself watching – jc versus young ill a couple weeks ago and i was like and like i i watched this like i didn't even need to watch this battle for real but like it just it you know anything that can help me with with something you never know where you can get some motivation from mm-hmm. no that's yeah. a fact that's a fact um and and uh you're, you're 25 years old so you know you you got a long run in this motherfucker, right even though they say you know you can be 60 and still battle rap you know, I, I, I'm waiting to see that day. But <laughs> <laughs> um, as far as I, I, I heard you say your presence, is there anything else you think you need to absorb, you know, moving through into this culture? Oh, man, everything. I think um, I honestly think the only aspect of my game, the most mature aspect of my game is my writing. Mm-hmm. And I could still probably go eons further. But um, just you know out but like the stuff that i right now need to focus on i think pre- that presence that star power you know um um that comfort you know um finding my comfort zone on that stage finding certain pockets that um that people can associate with me you know um keeping consistent with the originality i feel like i'm doing a good job so far of staying original and being within my own lane but that's not always easy to you know sustain so that's definitely um something that i want to you know keep it going and just um and like i said all all of the basics you know um never can you're never too good at delivering a punchline you're never too good at you know um flows 
um, that type of thing. So it, everything, any and everything I can improve upon, I know. Why klutz? Um, really, it, it describes me. It's it's it describes me to a T. Like I know a lot of people are like, man, I wouldn't have chose Clutch. It's a bad name. It's you know, it's it's like it's stupid or whatever. But like really, I'm that guy. I'm so I'm almost too smart for my own good. And so I'll literally fuck up or trip up or like, you know, do some stupid shit. Like, ain't nothing worse than a smart motherfucker that just does dumb shit. And that's yeah. what I that's the type of person that I am at my at my we core. call them we call them rain man. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what we call them. Yeah, that's what that's just what I am in my core. Like um and so you know clutch just fits, you know, clutch just fits. And you know, I always have different shit in my in my in my bars where like I'll say a bar where I'll like man, I call myself clutch because I was tripping that God was taken or like, I'll say some shit like, you know, I, you know, I'll be tripping out or, you know, like shit like that. But realistically, it's just some shit that my homeboys, you know, called me. Cause I did some, like some stupid shit one day that was like, bro, you were fucking klutz. And it was just kind of stuck. And I just kept it type shit. What's the best klutz name flip somebody has done to you so far in your career? Uh, shit, probably Hansel. Hansel, and it wasn't like a direct klutz flip, like a, like, it wasn't like a, you know, um, like an entendre or nothing. It was just like, he was like, um, you can never be a stick up kid or a nigga in the cookhouse fam. Your name klutz. You couldn't even be a lookout, man. Like the way he said it was so fucking smooth. He delivered it perfectly. Like, I thought that was super, super dope. Uh, a lot, a lot of people don't hit me with the crazy clutch flips. I don't feel like like get ready. I, I feel like I be the one that flip my own name very fucking well. Type shit. I know JC gonna flip the shit out of your name. Oh yeah, I'm 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 excited to see that. Like I'm, yeah. cause I know that he's not gonna be generic with it. I know he's not gonna be like, oh yeah, clutch is tripping. Like I know he's going to take it a step that I've never even thought to take it. Right. And what I'm excited about, like, you know, I'm I'm not going to be able to enjoy it until it drops on camera. I'd be like, it'd be through one ear and out the other when I'm on stage. But like when it, when the joint drop, I'll be able to truly like enjoy, you know, how fire Jay. Cause that, I, that's one thing I haven't even questioned once while prepping. I've never one time questioned, I wonder if JC is going to be on his shit. I wonder if JC is going to be good. Like I said, I've watched all his battles. I know he's going to be good. Right. I know it. Last question. What do you have in your arsenal that's better than JC? Um, man, uh, uh, I feel like P, I feel like P and Bill is going to be mad at me because they want me to kind of keep it like low. But well, like, you keep it loaded. Not, not, no, we don't have to do that. No, nah, no funny shit. That was just like a, a precursor. Like, I think I write better than JC. You think you write better than him? Like, I don't think that I can win a battle off nothing but writing better than him. I think mm -hmm. that, so like, I don't want to get misconstrued. I think he can come in there, have worse written material than me and still win. Possibly mm -hmm. and clearly. But I do think without a shadow of a, of a doubt that I'm going to walk in there and have better written material than he has. I guess I've watched all his battles. I know, I know where he peaks out as a writer and I exceed that. I feel like, but I also feel like experience is a motherfucker. Presence is a motherfucker. He could walk in there. Like I said, with worse written, written material and kick my ass if I'm not executing properly. Right. I just, I just don't want that to get misconstrued. I, like, just know whether I win, lose, whatever, I'll probably have a better material. The and hard part is I could tell you're a humble type of person, but you know this is battle rap. So I always say that to a lot of people. Like it's difficult to be a, a certain type of person and be in battle rap. And you know, you, you gotta talk shit at some point. You yeah. know what I mean? So, but it's difficult for people that don't normally talk shit to talk shit. Hopefully they won't do a face off. 
<laughs> with y'all because I don't see that being a good face off. Yeah, I'm I'm that guy that like I get all my shit talk off while we're in battle. I don't really have a reason to go back and forth with you before we, you know, before we do anything. Now when I'm on stage, I'ma talk my shit. Right. Because I be like there's I I can't control my natural whatever when I'm on stage. Like I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say. Um that like, that's just the facts of it. But yeah, like pre prior to the battle and stuff like that. I don't know if it's humility or if it's just like not trying to show my hand. And once we're once you're locked in that cage with me, that's when the full that's when that's when all of me comes out and it's just like, all right. Now I'm finna talk my shit in between lines. If you say something that's not that hot, I'm probably gonna let you know. Like I'll probably laugh at you or something. Like that type of shit. But yeah, prior to the battle and shit like that, I don't really have no reason to talk about how much better I am than JC. We'll see that when it when it, when the time comes. All right, my man Clutch. Uh, appreciate the time, brother. Uh, even though you were late. <laughs> I appreciate y'all dealing with little man's and shit, man. I know, man. I know family first. Yes, I, uh, oh, yeah, son. Yeah, yeah. He um, he four. Four. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Good. 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 Enjoy. Uh, Enjoy uh, it when I that Well, I'm enjoying it as much as I can. He get on my nerves sometimes, but you know, it's whatever. It, it, it's it's right, part man. of it. Yeah. I got grown ass kids. They still get on my nerves. <laughs> kids I'm, older than you, but it is what it is. <laughs> you can't I, pick your family, man. Nah, that's a fact. Yeah, but no, I appreciate your time, brother. I'll be out there, man, and um, you know, keep that same energy, man. After the battle, I right, for sure, man. I can't wait to see. <laughs> I'll see you out there. Be safe, brother. All right, man. You too. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Fifteen minutes. You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame, ladies. Let's go! Let's go.